Hello and welcome to another Create Your Light tutorial. My name is Konstantin Schiller. And my name is Gregor Renner. And this is my dad. And this is obviously my son. I'm a professional photographer and agency owner from Germany. And I'm a professional car engineer from Stuttgart. Today's tutorial is about learning from each other, learning from different generations. I think I can teach my son something from analog times. And I hope I can teach you something about the future. We have prepared some exercises already in advance. And feel free to take part in our task. And by the way, today it's all about the new Nikon ZFC. And we will show you what you can do with this amazing camera. This is a beauty which reminds me already on my analog Nikon. So we are here in the middle of Stuttgart in the city center where it's all about street photography and urban stuff. Let's get started. Dad, I have the first task for you. I'm pretty thankful how my father told me photography back then. But nowadays, throughout technology, there are more options than we've ever had. With the Nikon ZFC and um, its new display, <laughs> I'm uh, able to, to get more shots and be more flexible. My style of photography is more crazy than my dad's one. I'm always on the hunt for new perspectives, for new angles. You can find me often on the ground and searching for new perspectives and uh, being on my knees for getting that right angle. And I'm always moving around and my tip is to look around, to get your head um, to the sky, look at the ground, look beside you, search for like shadows and lights, search for reflections in like um, the glass facade. Go up, go down, look around the corner, search for new angles. With the new flip screen of the Nikon ZFC, you are able to get that shots I told you, and it's pretty easy. Always keep in mind, all or nothing. This means put your camera almost in the water, put your camera around the corner, put your camera into the ground, and you still have a good view throughout the flip display. My tip is always go extreme. My exercise is to um, show you how to create perfect, more perfect images with maybe more tension um, and not only like my son is doing a lot of post-production. My favor is to do perfect images from the beginning on and not with a lot of post-production. Yeah, this is because years ago it was really, really expensive not doing perfect images. You had only 36 images uh, available and uh, couldn't make a lot of uh, pictures. What I like most with modern cameras is that they can support you in doing perfect photographs. I will show you an example how ZFC could support you with guiding lines to create really a perfect frame. And this is a good example how modern cameras can help you as a photographer. My old Nikon FE camera had guiding lines in the viewfinder. And now I show you how to activate this function on the Nikon FC. 
So we start, let's press menu and then you find the customs settings menu, the sub menu shooting display, the again sub menu framing grid display and there you find three options. Number one is off, number two is three by three, number three is four by four. By activating one of these options, you get guidelines on your viewfinder. So I personally like more asymmetric pictures. So this means not this boring centered uh, image and therefore I activate normally three by three. Just try to place your object on one of the lines. This is called rule of third. By the way, there is a huge difference between modern cameras and my old one. Uh, you can activate and deactivate the guidelines. 20 years ago, I couldn't take off the focusing screen while shooting. Now I have just to press one button. And this is my final tip, how to activate this function on the button. Okay, first we have to activate the menu. Then we go to Customs Settings menu and then to Custom Controls. And there you find a choice of different options and there you can choose the grid options as a function to be activated on the front button. Whenever I press this button here, the grid appears or can disappear. Let's go out and taking some perfect shots without using Photoshop, but using that perfect function. What my dad just said is absolutely right, but nowadays things have changed. I personally like symmetric framings more than asymmetric framings. And here we have a good example on how rules have to be broken sometimes. So my exercise for my dad will be to get into new frames, try out new angles and to break his own rules. The Nikon ZFC can really help you with these new frames. So let's jump into the menu and figure out how does it work. First, press the menu button. Then go into photo shooting menu and then choose image area. Press OK to enter that option. And there you have your formats. The DX is the normal format 3x2 and now you can change to 1x1 or in our case 16x9. I know this sounds completely crazy for some of you, but it will be a lot of fun, especially for my dad. Please keep in mind, formats have changed over the years. If you think back to TV 50 years ago, the format was 3x4 and nowadays we have 16x9. So you see, to be creative there's no right or wrong. So let's get outside and take some pictures.
Okay, Konstantin forced me now to shoot in different formats. So I have an additional exercise now for him. I know he, he likes Photoshop and has a lot of possibilities with digital files. But I, as the father, want him to take the perfect image on the shot. To slow down and think a bit more before he pushes the button. The Nikon cameras have a digital development process inside without losing original information of the picture. By using them, you can save a lot of time. But if it's not working, don't worry, you don't lose anything. So first, press the menu button. Then go to photo shooting menu. Then scroll down to set picture control. And there you have the different options. For example, you can distinguish between a neutral way or monochrome or for example, portrait or landscape. Vivid would be a very colorful development. Portrait is more focused to skin tones. This is a kind of a digital development inside your camera. And a very important tip is to take the I menu. Press the I menu button. So on the upper left side, you will find set picture control. Press the button and then you see on a quite good way the different colors of the different uh, possibilities. The camera shows you the effect of each picture control. And you can choose the picture control you want before taking the picture. I personally like shooting in monochrome. I know what Konstantin maybe will tell me about the possibilities of these menus. In every picture control menu, you have many possibilities to make your own adjustment. Like, for example, individual settings on sharpening, on contrast, brightness, and also you can define some filter effects. The RAW file will never get touched by these adaptations. It stays like it is. The camera offers you an additional possibility. It's not that you always have to use it, but really please try it. It could offer some new uh, ideas. This functionality is especially for mirrorless cameras a nice feature because what you see is what you get. So let's see how Konstantin will work without any additional post-production. As a professional photographer, I still have my big editing PC at home. But imagine if you are on travels and if you are moving around and you have to create content live, sometimes it's pretty nice to have the Snapridge app and um, your smartphone with you to transfer pictures from your cam to your smartphone, editing the pictures and then upload it directly to social media. Or you can send the pictures directly to your customer, to your family or to your friends if you want to. So you see and this is the complete opposite for my dad because he used to be shooting analog photography and he used to wait like weeks for his films to get developed. And with Snapridge and with your phone and all these connection between your smartphone and the camera, you can easily transfer the pictures in seconds and use them immediately. I know it's hard for some of you, but let's see how it will work and let's just try it out.
That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our Create Your Light tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and we could give you some nice tips and ideas. I'm really impressed what kind of pictures we could take today and about the capability of this new camera. The Nikon ZFC is old style but with the newest technology. Mm -hmm.